Good evening, everybody. Coming back to you uh, with another video. Um, I just had to make this video. I just, I just want to understand. Okay. So just let me. I'll just get into it. I was on Twitter, and one of my Twitter friends made a statement. She said, "Now listen." She said. If you don't have a, a baby, if you don't have any kids, you can't come back. In other words, you can't come back to earth. You can't reincarnate because you don't have a lineage. So, um, I, I tweeted back to her that actually you do have a lineage because you can't, you have a mom and dad. So that's your lineage. All right. And then a lot of us, we have, um, we have siblings, we have nephews and nieces and things like that. Grandmother, grandfather, that is your lineage. Um, so, you know, a uh, uh, couple of more people came in and chimed in on the conversation. Um, I think there was one that was kind of hostile. And um, I kind of felt a, a type of way. Not because... I decided that I didn't want any kids. I don't have any kids, and I I, I knew I wasn't going to have any kids, or, or at least I didn't want any kids at 24, and I don't have any, all right? So uh, I kind of felt a certain type of way because I have heard, I heard someone say that to me before. Um, years ago, years ago, a young lady said the same thing to me that this woman this this the tweeter did on twitter but she said it with a lot of hostility it was hostile and i it wasn't uh, only hostile i i heard jealousy and anger in her voice now mind you i ain't never talked about how i didn't have any kids and i was free to go and come and go as i please no baby daddy issues i just live my life how i see fit i i never i never talked like that around her she knew that i didn't have any kids i i guess maybe when we first met um i thought i didn't have any well she had had she had two kids all right so let me run down her situation she had two kids by different men. She was only getting child support for one. And it couldn't have been that much because at one time she was homeless, living pillow to post. And um, the, her first son was taken um, by her mother. Her mother took, you know, took this, the first son and, and, you know, raised him herself. But she wouldn't let her put her second child on on her so here she is struggling like hell she has a, a um a felony so it's hard for her to get a job and she's just just pitiful pathetic on welfare um a, a little itty bitty child support she's getting from the uh, second baby's child uh second son it's just a really you know it, at that time it was very hard for her and i don't know why she just just burned we were in that in her mother's living room one day and i was i was uh looking at this book and it had a it had puppies in it and i love dogs i am a dog freak and i'm just when i see a puppy i just oh my god i go to people can i pet them please <laughs> i i love dogs i love cats but dogs are my thing and so I was looking at this magazine, and it was a little puppy in there. Oh, and I was like, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. And she going to say to me, do you like babies? And I'm like, huh, what is she talking about? What do I like babies? And then she went on and said a little something else. And then she started saying, she kept saying, it, you, you can't come back if you don't have no kids. You can't come back. I said, okay. So... Um, like I said, I saw a lot of jealousy and and anger in her, even towards me, because she was suffering so bad. Plus, she had had she had had a termination, and she was regretting her termination. I remember she told it told me she hated she did that. 
uh, you would have just been walking around homeless and pillow pose and up and down, back and forth to welfare office and this office and that off, office dragging three kids instead of, uh, you know, one well, two because her mom took the, the oldest one. She said, I'm not taking the taking your youngest one. You got to keep him. You got to take care of it. So I want to um, I just want to get an understanding and I want to uh, put some more um, you know, light on the subject, clarify and stuff like that. First of all uh it ain't none of your business how many children a person has or don't have or if they want children or if they want 10. I mean, if you want 10, hopefully you can take care of them, that, but that's your business. So there is no other reason for me to believe that a woman would say that to another woman other than the fact that she is struggling with her own children. She's uh, probably most likely by herself um uh, financially strapped can't find babysitters and she's really having it hard because i have i know a few i i'm gonna say a couple not a few um of married women who have a husband there and they're they're housewives and you know they stay home with the kids and he gets out and work and you know he makes the money um the kids are very well disciplined in line and you know, I, she ain't never said nothing to me like that. I don't believe a woman that is happy uh, with her, her situation and, you know, with her children and her 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 uh, her life and she ain't struggling hard. And she, she would never say that to a woman. That's just you, you hags that's been sat up here and had all, a whole bunch of babies you can't take care of. The daddies don't want them. And you, you, you're, you're angry, hurt, and frustrated, and you want to deflect. You want, you want me to feel what you're feeling, um, and other people to feel what you're feeling. No, that's you made your decisions, your choices. You live with them. You know that's. Yeah, you know, I just had to make a video about this. It's to me, it's it's just ridiculous. How is that even someone's business? But you, you know, you're you're miserable. You're lonely busted uh, uh can't take care of your kids you try your aborted one you, you threw another one off on your mom now you got to struggle with the other one because she refused to take them and you want to take your anger out on me make better choices that's all that's it to it um i heard it once before i heard a man said y'all can't come back you don't have no kids wow why are you worried about me coming back? You, you like me that much? You want to see me again? Am I all that? And um, not to mention, this is coming from different people's philosophical and religious uh, belief systems. Like the the one on Twitter, she's a uh, she's an indigenous American, and she's her tribe has that saying: "If you don't have kids, you can't come back." And I think the um. Um, what is that? Ifa and Orisha, I think they have that belief system. But the Buddhist philosophy, the, they don't have that belief system. You you come back to your family, whether you have kids or not, or you can go to another family. So it's, it, the belief systems are um, for the believer. It's not for everybody. I don't have to adhere to your um uh, Islamic belief system. I don't have to adhere to your, your Christian belief system or, or atheist belief or whatever. That's fucking for you. That's not for the whole world. Okay? So just mind your damn business. Oh my God. There are so many things that are very important that need your attention when it comes to somebody's business life. For instance, you don't allow somebody to abuse their child and say, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what's happening. You see it. Well, that's none of my business. It's yours. That's when somebody else's business is yours. When you have to step in and save somebody's life or their, um, you know, health or whatever. But, uh, wow. <laughs> wow. I don't have no regrets about not having any children. At my age, and I'm up there, I have no regrets. None. 
I don't let nobody uh, scare me by talking about who's going to take care of you when you get old. Uh, for one, 99% of them folks, the females anyway, in convalescent homes got children. And they're, they're operable. And, but their children won't or can't take care of them. Uh, I had a boss. I had a, a, a supervisor who sent his mother to a convalescent home. He was, she was staying in his house with him and his wife. And he's an um, insurance agent. And she's a, a, I think she was a, a principal at a local school. Both of them made big money. Bringing in a hundred grand, over a hundred grand a year each, especially him. Um, and they took their mother who could walk and move and all that and threw her in a convalescent home. And his excuse was, well, you know, I'm scared of the stairs. I don't want her to walk up, up and down the stairs and fall. Well, put her on the first floor. So just because you have kids don't mean you will be taken care of. But then again, somebody else's issue is not your business don't worry about who's going to take care of me when i get old it ain't going to be you you're not going to take care of me so what's what's the use people people will say stuff and start a big fight big argument and you didn't even have to go there it was ridiculous for you to say that you have got women who say they are jealous of women who don't have kids they're jealous of us and not all women say that but the ones who have it hard and, and, and deep down in their heart wish they could have taken a different route and made different decisions concerning their life. They, and if they could, they would change it. They are hate on, they hate on females like me. But I just want to get that out because I'm weird. And I wonder if other um, childless uh, women have gone through the same thing with people. Because you could have said that to a person who wasn't able to have children. You could have hurt somebody's feelings. You know, maybe she wanted to and tried for years and just couldn't do it. And now she got to be get some type of spiritual punishment just because she couldn't she couldn't bring forth life, a baby. Wow. <laughs> it's sad and it's funny at the same damn time it is funny and sad at the same damn time so um like i said i have no regret i'm so glad i didn't every time especially when i look at um how hard it is and difficult and how um there's so many things that negatively um, influence children today it's like you might be doing your best to raise your child right and then the outside influences just takes all that away and you're wondering what happened you know all kids killing kids um it's bad out here so i i feel blessed i feel blessed and i want other women who decided not to uh, have children. I want you to feel blessed too. And never let anybody intimidate you. Um, and what they say. Because you're you're coming up against a, a, a hostile, jealous spirit in the first place. And they envy you. And they, they envy your place. And they're mad. They're mad. So I just wanted to come to y'all with that video. With, with that um, subject today on this video. I thank you all for watching. Have a great um, evening. Like and share. Thank you. Good night.